Hello and welcome to another TLC Tutoring Company Accounting Lesson. Um, in this video, we're going to be going over how to determine predetermined overhead rates, applying factory overhead, and then determining if it's overapplied or underapplied. So we have a problem here. XYZ Manufacturing estimates that their overhead for the period will be $1 million. The company uses direct labor hours as a basis of applying overhead and estimates that it will use 20,000 direct labor hours during the period. At the end of the period, it is found that the company actually used 20,100 direct labor hours during the period and that the actual factory overhead costs were 1,010,000. So they want us to find A, the factory overhead rate, B, the applied factory overhead for the period, and C, whether that overhead had been overapplied or underapplied. So the first thing that we need to find, A, the factory overhead rate, uses a formula. And one thing that you should really remember when you're looking at this formula is it's estimates divided by estimates. So essentially it's the estimated cost divided by the estimated activity base. Now when we're looking at this estimated cost, we're focusing on the overhead cost that we're going to be using. So in our case, the estimated overhead was one million. Keep in mind we're using estimates, not the actual. And our estimated activity base, which our problem lets us know is direct labor hours, was 20,000. So if we divide that $1 million by 20,000 direct labor hours, we find that our predetermined overhead rate is $50. So what does that mean? It means that we are going to be applying $50 of overhead based on, which is where we're getting into B, actual direct labor hours. So when we're getting into B and we're applying the factory overhead, uh, keep in mind when we're doing our factory overhead rates, our focus was on estimates. Now that we're applying the overhead though, our focus is on the overhead rate we found in A times the actual activity base. So we're not going to be multiplying it by estimated direct labor hours. We're going to be divide, or sorry, multiplying. We're gonna be multiplying it by actual direct labor hours. So our overhead rate, was $50 for May, and our actual activity base use of direct labor hours was 20,100 hours. So $50 times 20,100 direct labor hours, that means that the applied overhead is 1,005,000. And that's our answer for B. Now C asks us to find whether that overhead was over applied or under applied. And honestly, I think that the easiest way to figure this out is just to kind of compare your applied with your actual. So if we take a look at our 1,005,000, this was our applied, and we go into our problem, we see that actual factory overhead costs were 1,010,000. That lets us know that it was actually under applied. We didn't apply as much as we actually incurred. It's under the threshold. But um, just to kind of get into more academic accounting, I do want to pull up a factory overhead T account so we can see this. Um, the actual overhead, whenever we have our actual overhead, we're actually going to be debiting the factory overhead account. Our applied overhead is always going to be a credit to the factory overhead account. So when we find the balance in this T account here, we find that our balance is 5,000 debit. And a little way of kind of remembering underapplied versus overapplied from back in the day was DUCO. If it's a debit balance, it's underapplied. CO, if it's a credit balance, it's overapplied. So our answer here would be that our factory overhead is actually $5,000 underapplied. So that's really all it takes for you to really get a good grasp on overhead rates and applying factory overhead and um, really finding your overapplied and underapplied. It's not a terribly difficult concept. Uh, you just have to do it a few times and try to really understand what you're doing rather than, as I always say, just memorizing the formulas. All right, so that will be it for this video regarding overhead rates and applying overhead. Um, if you have anything to contribute to the conversation, please be sure to leave it in the comment section below. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please be sure to subscribe. I do try to upload videos regularly, um, whether they be accounting or some other topic that's probably going to be useful in your academic career. And if you haven't visited our website already, we are working on building some additional resources for students on our website, which will be in the description below. 
So until next time, happy studying.